All right, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video all about tour guide one card combos. This is one of the most versatile combo starters in the game. It's kind of crazy how many different things it can do because it can it can uh, just uh, open itself up to a whole fiend engine or phantom knight slash burning abyss engine. And on the other end, it can actually special summon uh, a whole synchro slash needle fiber route, which is kind of insane all things considered, like how many different things it can do. Uh, but I'm going to show you just a few combos today from just just what one single tour guide can do. And it's actually pretty crazy, and you might want to implement some of these combos in your deck if you find them helpful. But let's start it off. We're going to normal summon the tour guide. We're going to activate tour guide in order to special summon a copy of Graph. And his effects are negated, so he won't destroy himself. Now we're going to use both of these. We're going to link these two away for a copy of Cherubini. Graph's effect is going to activate, which is going to let us summon a Seer. And now we can activate the effect of Cherubini. Uh, we can send a copy of Phantom Knight's Torn Scales to the Graveyard in order to boost Cherubini, but it's irrelevant who we boost because we won't be able to keep either. I mean, we won't be keeping them on the field, but we're going to link both of these away for a copy of Bardish. Bardish. And then we can activate the Seer in Graveyard in order to bring back the Cherubini immediately. Uh, now we can activate the Phantom Knight's Rusty Bardish. We can send the Cloak in order to set a copy of Fogblade, one of our first negates. Now we can activate the Cloak, banishing the Cloak to add a copy of Silent Boots to our hand. We can also trigger the effect of Torn Scales immediately to special summon itself uh, since a Phantom Knight monster got banished. Uh, we can also make plays with him, but in this particular combo, we're not going to. But we control not one, but two. Two copies of Phantom uh, Phantom Knight Monsters, so we can special summon this card for free. And then now we can start going into Link Place. Uh, we link away the Verde Anaconda. Uh, for the Verde Anaconda, we're going to link away the Cherubini and the Silent Boots. And now we can activate the effect of Silent Boots in Graveyard, banishing itself in order to add a Shade Brigadine. Uh, you can also add, instead of the Shade Brigadine, you could just add another Fog Blade if you wanted to. And then um, you can basically just uh, make an Appaloosa out of these two. And then the Verde Anaconda will get a Dragoon. And then you can have two copies of Fog Blade. Uh, but I'm going to do it a slightly different way. We're going to set the Shade Brigadine. I'm sorry, you can't even link with this. I'm, I'm being dumb. You can't link with this. Uh, you can activate the copy of Shade Brigadine since we have no traps in Graveyard. Special summon it. And now we can link away, use the IP Masquerina to link away the Torn Scales and the Shade Brigadine. Summon it right there. And this may not seem like a crazy board yet, but we can activate the Predator Plant Verde Anaconda, send Red Ice Fusion, get these guys out. And that is our end board right there. Off of one card, mind you. And of course we have four more cards, so we have things to discard for the Dragoon, but we have a Monster Negate slash Attack, uh, you know, stopping them from attacking you. We have the Dragoon for the Omni Negate, and also we're playing probably a deck that benefits from having cards in Graveyard, so we get uh, multiple effects afterwards. Uh, Rusty Bardish just kind of sits there. Verde Anaconda um, doesn't just sit there. It's usually pretty bad, but you can actually use IP in, with the Verde Anaconda. And you can do one of two things. You can make an uh, IP. You can use the IP Mascarina to make an Appaloosa, or you can use the IP Mascarina to make a copy of Avermax here. Uh, but basically, we're going to end our turn. Our opponent's going to do anything. We're going to immediately respond with IP Mascarina. Um, do we want to chain anything? No, we don't want to chain our Fog Blade. To summon a Tunigate Appaloosa. And it can't be destroyed by card effects too, which makes it pretty cool. But that's going to get summoned out. And actually, our, the computer quit on us, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, we have our Tunigate Appaloosa that can't be destroyed. We have another Monster Negate. And then we have the Dragoon all off of just a single card. No discards, no nothing. Straight one single card. Uh, so that is the first combo. Let's get off to the second one. All right, guys. This is combo number two for the tour guide video. Uh, basically, all you need again is just a tour guide. No discard, no nothing. Uh, but you will end on quite a formidable border just off of one card. This time we're going to go into the Resonator, which is basically a tuner, which will allow us to go into the Needle Fiber route. And you know, anytime you summon a Needle Fiber, things get very dangerous. Uh, but we're going to summon the Needle Fiber using these two, and we'll never see those two again. Now we're going to activate the effect of Needle Fiber to summon a Deskbot 001. We can now link away the Deskbot 001 and the Oridon. 
in order to special summon three tokens for, for, totally for free, which is super awesome. Three tokens, and we can trigger the effect of 001, basically because we summon two or more machines at one time, we can summon 001. It special summons itself for free, and that effect is not once per turn, and we will be abusing that because it's you. Yeah, you have to abuse whatever is not once per turn. Uh, we are now going to special summon Herald of Arclight by using the level 1 tuner and the level 3 Mecha Phantom Beast token right there. This is an Omni Negate, meaning it can negate monster spells and traps. Uh, when it leaves the field, you can search for a ritual monster. And on top of that, any card sent from the hand or from the deck to the graveyard is banished instead, so it's also a floodgate. Um, three really good effects all on one card. We're going to activate the effect of Mecha Phantom Beast Oridon. We're going to special su uh, tribute two monsters to special summon a Mecha Phantom Beast monster. And no, we're not going to negate it with our own monster. So we're going to summon the Colt Wing. Colt Wing is going to automatically activate in order to special summon two tokens again. Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. And then we can chain the effect yet again of Deskbot 001 in order to special summon itself from the graveyard. Uh, right now, Colt Wing is actually level 10 because it gains uh, levels for every... Mecha Phantom, it actually gains levels for every Mecha Phantom Beast monster level on the field. So these are level 3 each, and he's level 4, so it's actually level 10. There was a level 11 that was really good. This would be the time to go into it, but um, yeah, because you could basically go into it with all of these. Th this would absolutely be the time to do that, but as of right now, I can't really imagine uh, doing anything right now with a level 11. So we're going to go into the Phonon Pulse Dragon. Summon that. Activate Phonon Pulse Dragon's effect to turn it into a level 1. So this is now a level 1. This is now a level 7 because it adds 3 plus 4. And we can special summon the Borload Savage Dragon with it. And we're summon Borload Savage Dragon right there. Activate Borload Savage Dragon. And attach the Crystron Needle Fiber. Uh, so again, just off of one single card. Uh, the same card we started off with last time. We filled up our graveyard. We put 4 monsters on board. And we have 2 Omni Negates, which is pretty darn crazy especially if you play like a very back row heavy deck this is a, a solid solid combo all right now we have combo number three this is the third and last combo again all we need is just one tour guide nothing else uh, this combo is going to end pretty crazy it's a plus three with a uh with a true king of all calamities which is pretty cool uh but we're going to special summon the dark resonator again meaning we're going to go into the needle fiber place we're going to go into the crystal needle fiber Summon the Crystal Needle Fiber, activate Needle Fiber to summon the Deskbot 001. Now we can use the Deskbot 001 and Needle Fiber to summon an Oridon. Obviously activate the effect of Oridon to summon three tokens again. That effect is absolutely broken. Summon the three tokens, activate the Deskbot 001 in Graveyard to special summon itself back. Uh, now we can Synchro Summon. Using the Mecha Phantom Be the Deskbot 001 and one Mecha Phantom Beast token into this copy of Old Entity Jathuga. Uh, basically, this card, whenever you XYZ summon with it, um, on the successful XYZ summon, you can draw a card, uh, which is which is a pretty good effect because it'll get us the plus draw. We're gonna tribute two monsters, which are gonna be the two tokens to special summon the Colt Wing from our deck. Summon Colt Wing, activate Colt Wing activates automatically to summon two tokens. And then we're going to activate the effect of Deskbot 001 to special summon itself. Uh, now we can use Deskbot 001 to summon another old entity. And we can use both of those to summon a copy of Galleon Granite. And obviously, since we use those, we can draw two cards right away and then we can activate it detach to search an ad emancipator researcher or well yeah the ad emancipator researcher now since we control a rock which is the gallant granite we can special summon the ad emancipator researcher and we can activate its effect to do the whole milling thing but in most that you're probably not going to need to do that uh, but now uh, since this is a level seven because remember uh, it gains levels for every single Mecha Phantom Beast level on the field. So this is level 3, this is level 4, so it becomes a level 7. This is level 2, so we can make a level 9, which is Crocosaur. Summon the Crocosaur. Activate its effect. Yes. No, we don't want to chain its quick effect to draw an additional card. So now we've drawn uh, 3 cards. And we can special summon the Trishula. Just by banishing 3 monsters we control. Uh, special summon that 
doesn't have any effects right now because I didn't use dragon, so it's kind of like a vanilla monster. Uh, but we can just basically banish those, and then we can special summon by overlaying these two into a copy of True King of All Calamities. So just off of a single, a single copy of Tour Guide, we have a True King of All Calamities and a plus three draw. And don't forget, we start with a whole lot of cards anyway, so we can just basically set a bunch of back row and OTK our opponent the following turn. And we still have seven slots in our extra deck. Pretty, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent combo we saw there. Uh, but that is it. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Uh, and that's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, uh, check out the other videos on the channel. And please subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Again, thank you so much. Have a terrific day.